Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is a dreams tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the start menu again. This time we're going to be using um, our D-pad to scroll up and down our menu selections. Um, so previously we did a tutorial where uh, we were using the imp as a cursor. Uh, this time around we're not going to have an imp at all. Uh, we're just going to have a, a menu with uh, an up and down uh, on the D-pad. So, first things first, we're going to put in some cameras. These are going to be the cameras that are going to aim at our backgrounds. We um, need one for that side and one for that side. So L1 and X, get inside the camera. Let's place this where we want the background to be for our main menu and then do the same with this one so we get our controller in a nice position I'll do and there we go so we've got our two um, different menus now this time round we are going to be creating multiple microchips so we create a microchip and this is going to be for our main menu. And we'll copy that and rename it. This is going to be our control menu. Okay, so that's our control menu and that's our main menu. So we'll open those both up. And we'll put the main menu camera in that one. And our other camera in that one. There we go. So we've got two menus, two cameras. That's all set up and ready to go. Right. So now let's make our menu selections. So I'm going to use a text displayer. Um, I'm going to... Um, put in my first word start I'm not going to have the text box and I'm not going to have the border and I'm going to choose that font that I had in the previous tutorial again and we're going to hunt it down it's here somewhere come on there we go Okay, so there is my start menu. Um, I'm going to place that centered like that. And then I'm going to copy, copy this three times. So this is going to be for the controls. And this one is going to be for the exit. Okay, and now I'm going to select them all so I can see them. I'm going to put the start there. Controls around about there. Exit there. There we go. There's my menu. Now I'm going to put in the hover state. I'm going to do that with a keyframe. So you go to animate, keyframe. I'm going to pop that down. We're going to go open the text display menu. And I'm going to change the text color to white and then press record. Pop another one in, second one down, text color to white, press record, new keyframe. Obviously you can do any effects you like, you can change the color, it doesn't have to be white, you can make it glow. This keyframe can do whatever you want. You can even make it move or make it smaller or change the font. It's entirely up to you what your hover effect is. That is what this keyframe is for. All right, so now I'm going to put in a selector. And what we're going to say is um, A is going to be our top keyframe, then B and then C. Now we need a way of choosing this selector so we're going to use a controller sensor. Now the controller sensor comes with a couple of wires we don't need those because we've not got a um, 
a, a, a puppet, so we don't need those two wires so they can go. We're going into the controller sensor, going to the imp page, and I'm going to change this to remote controllable. If you don't do this, none of this will work. So do that first as soon as you put your controller sensor down. Now we're going to open it up and back again. I'm going to go to page three and here are our D-pad options. So I'm going to wire uh, the up D-pad to the previous output and the down D-pad to the move to next output. As you can see that. So I've wired the D-pads. Move this over a bit. So I've, I've wired the D-pads uh, into this selector. So it's going to move down through the selector. So let's have a look and see what that does. So now we have our menu. It says Start, Controls, and Exit. And as I move through the D-pad, it's highlighting each of these, like so. It might be a good idea. Um, to also add instructions for the player so that they understand what they've got to do. So, whoops, we're going to go up here. So I'm going to place another text gadget. And I'm going to... I think this is right like that um, to to select and then cross Choose. Mm. To select, to choose, to to um. Hmm. That'll have to do. I, I can't think of better wording, but there we there we go. So we're gonna. Uh, turn off the box, turn off that, and I'm going to put that down the bottom, and I'm going to stretch that so it's in one line, and I'm going to shrink it down because I don't want it too big. There we go. Uh, and as I want this um, on both pages, I think I'm going to take it out of the text, out of the, out of the microchip entirely, and just have that loose. So there we go. I haven't centered that very well there we go there we go so now we know like that that gives us our options there we go that's our first menu done now we've got to um, put in our actions for when we've chosen these options Let's rewind it to get rid of the text because that gets in the way and gets it really awkward. Right, okay. We're going to need an AND gate. So what we're going to... We're going to have one for each option. And what we're going to say is if A is selected on that one or if B is selected on that one and if C is selected on that one and we'll have the cross button on all of these. So cross in there, cross in there, cross in there. So that's saying, so if A is selected and you press cross, there's an action, B or C. There we go. So our action for the start and the exit is a doorway. So we're gonna put a couple of doorways in. We're gonna name this doorway start. We're going to name this doorway exit and we're going to wire the result to the power of those two. Now this one, this is the controls, this is going to activate our um, 
our new menu. So we're going to need another microchip. So let's put another microchip in. Um, this microchip we're going to call um, master. This is going to run all of it. Okay, so we're going to stick a selector in the in there, and we're going to say um, A is the power for our main microchip, and B is the power for our control microchip. Right. So now, um, what we're going to just say is if um, you press the AND gate on controls, we want to swap it from A to B. So that's done that. And now we're in this menu. We haven't got a, a menu in there. So I'm going to copy that text displayer over. I'm going to copy it twice. So we're going to name that controls. And we're going to name this one return so we're gonna say round about there and round about there and then we're gonna put in our hover effect again so make that white Make that white. We're going to need another selector. And we're going to need another controller sensor because obviously we've turned ours. Oops. Oh, we've turned ours off. In the other one. Dump. Dump. There we go. Right, so uh, D pad again. We're saying that's A and that's B. And we're going to need an AND gate. Now we only need an AND gate on the second one. We only need one AND gate. So if you've selected B and you press the cross. this is going to set off to go back to the main menu again we also want this to reset it back to a so that when we uh, come back to the control page it, it's got control selected right so let's try that so controls return Controls, there we go, return. Obviously I need to fiddle about with the positioning, but that's that's it. Now I've got a transition on those cameras. If you don't want that, um, it's easy fixed. Uh, we'll change that to a cut type. And we'll change that one to a cut type. So now when we do it, controls, return controls press x on that it doesn't do anything now we've still got our imp which is is we don't want that so we are going to um put in an extra gadget uh where is it there global settings stamp that in go to this and click off allow imps and now we have no imp so there's no um the indication now is that you've got button presses that activated the doorway so when you put that in um your dreams let's do that now so we'll save this this is our menu save it as a scene
if you've seen the previous tutorial then you know how to do this particular bit already so then we create our dream put our menu in and we've got a start and an exit doorway so you put in whatever it is the the start scene of your game and you put the exit and wire it to the start of there and that's it that's all you need to do to make your menu let's try this out we'll just sit quick save that this will be the name of your game Let's play, start, controls, exit, look at controls, so yeah, so you'd have some text on this page to explain what the controls are, return, start, and start in their game, and let's rewind that, see what the exit looks like, there we go, that's it done, right, I hope that was useful for you, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in your dreams.